Hello everybody, Sifty here again with another Bank Bank Bounce Run and today I'm gonna do the Uno Reverse build. For that specific build we're gonna be uh, getting the new item they launched, they uh, added a new item in the game. We're gonna go Pan, we're gonna go Blindness. Uh, the build is going to be a Blindness debuff build, about something like that. I would like to get a Broom right here. Uh, I guess I'm gonna force the Broom. We got the Broom, very nice. And I also got a Banana, that's nice. Does it fit though before I buy it? Yeah, it does fit. Uh, this this doesn't fit, but let's get the banana. And theoretically, if I fight against a reaper, we should be winning. I'm gonna buy the pocket sand. We want to get as many pocket sand as possible. <laughs> and it's a reaper, we should be winning. They didn't... They, this is not a build. <laughs> Skip ahead, this is literally not a build. We should not be possibly losing from this. Very nice. Very nice black mountain lost. And off we go. And I'm gonna go for a second shovel. I would like to do a sho the double shovel build. We don't have enough money for all of these. Uh, but we definitely have enough money to at least buy the broom. And the inventory space so we can fit uh, everything in very nice uh, can i fit this better to be honest yeah perfect everything's inside i'm gonna still buy the blindness let's go once again hopefully we're gonna fight against the reaper because those are easier early game and they should also be a win they have a garlic over us and we have a shovel over them so we should be winning is what's happening we're winning in all the races actually we're winning on the blindness on the blind and the poison and everything nice two wins in a row Early game is going well, and we found the pan for the second shovel. As I said, I do like to go with the second shovel here. Would help us out a lot. And a banana, and blindness. I'm gonna buy a banana, and the blindness, and roll them. And for an inventory space, I think we're good to go. And also another blindness. Uh, I would say, sell the flying agaric. I'm not gonna really stick to the poison idea. Let's go like this. Push these out for attack speed. I push this in. Uh, I would like to fit the banana... The banana does not somehow fit. Yeah, this, this line is not very well made. How could I fit the banana? I can fit the banana like this. Perfect. Now with double bananas, we're going to be good. And also we got a chance to freeze and blind uh, and slow the opponent. I'm going to put that on the fastest attacking weapon. 2.4, 1.7, 2.2. So that's here. Chance to uh, slow down. I will continue going for pocket sands. We want to start with the opponent being blinded 50,000 times. And we got the first ranger fight. Uh, we jump, double hit them for zero. They have a shield, so we should be losing. The fact that they have a shield counters our triple weapon build right now completely. Now we're winning with the blindness and poison fight. And also we are winning the region fight. Uh, they just drank a potion. We're not winning any fight. Now we, uh, um, fatigue coming in and them not having poison is killing us. Yep. Fair enough. The first loss doesn't count, by the way. Because there is always the fact of the matter that you will get healing. You get healing when you get to round seven. We're at round uh, two right now. No, we're on round four. Uh, keep the blindness. We got mana. That's nice. We will need mana. And uh, we got blindness, blindness, blindness. I would like to actually put those up there again. Up here and here. Whoop. That was a misclick. That was a quick misclick. I'm going to go boom, boom. Perfect. This is actually really good. And we got another blindness. Let's continue on. Room, definitely. And, and garlic for one. If something costs one, you buy it. I would like to fit this better. I think this is better. It's... it is. I think it is better. Yeah, let's go like this. And we have three blind. Nice. Uh, early game rolling for inventory space mostly. Another banana. Mm, I think three bananas. I think four bananas is the play. At some point I'm gonna also have a lightsaber. Actually, forget the bananas for now. I want to get corrupt crystals. We need to get as many corrupt crystals as possible. I haven't even said what the build is. I'm gonna in a moment explain what the build is. This guy's going for a hero sword. Uh, theoretically, we should have this because we're a blind build. Um, yeah, theoretically, we should have this because of the blindness. The blind blindness is removing or reducing their damage by 5% per stack, pretty much. Every miss is of the blindness triggering. Nice. And we won. Let's hope we're gonna get sand. Boom. We got a flank. And we found our first corrupted crystal. Very nice. So, what is the build? First of all, I want to get, I would say, two holy armors. And then I would like to get one lightsaber. And then for those three items alone, I will need to get three... Uh, what are they called? Three corrupted crystals. And now, after that, I would like to get another dark saber, another light crystal. And those are the uh, lightsaber. And those should be enough. Like, if I can get those four items and four. Uh, but after that, I would like to also get Jinx Torquilla. So that I'm able to uh, remove luck from the opponents. So I can blind them like crazy. The idea is I want to apply infinite debuffs on the opponents. Uh, those being... Like, if, if the opponent is going to be a ranger, 
I would like to blind them like crazy so it cannot do anything to us. And if it's a Reaper, I would like to reverse their debuffs on them, right? Because it's going to be an Uno reverse build. That's the build today. Uh, for now, I cannot combine the Corrupt Crystal with anything. We're going to just leave it outside so that when Fatigue kicks in, we are uh, we have the high hand. The, the high hand, the upper hand, whatever. Uh, lump of Coal. Gain a random buff, make a random debuff on the inventory. Now we're gonna go with a chance to do one more damage. Not that that's that crazy, but might as well. I don't know. And this is a Spike's uh, charge up the laser build. So we're gonna get burst like crazy in a moment. Ah! Uh, if, if I survive here, we win. Come on, one more hit. Don't hit us. Yes, we won. They were a burst build, but the burst is over because we're starting to get more and more max life. We found a Gloves of Haste. We found another Blindness. Uh, garlic, I would say no. Uh, flying a Garrix also a no, by the way. I'm not really a poison build. Let's go pocket sand. Uh, gloves of face is a yes. We will need attack speed in general. I would say we throw the garlic out. Actually, for now, keep it. Roll him. On the inventory space, which also will have energy, I would say yes. And now I can throw in the glove. Uh, I would like the glove to give attack speed to the crop, to crystal, and a banana. Not, not the weapons. Wait a minute. I think the lightsaber and everything I actually want is on legendary, right? Let's actually make sure. Legendary or godly. So I want the lightsaber, which is godly. So that, that means high rolling is good. And the other thing I mentioned, already forgot about it. The the holy armor, it's at, at the legendary. So I would say theoretically we should buy the Cosmo card. Because those items are things we want. Uh, now let's actually reorganize this a little bit so I can power up the corporate crystal and the banana. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna stick to the garlic over another flying agaric. I'm also having the customer card in the boil because I already want to start finding my stuff. Uh, and as I said, I, I think uh, two blindness is better than flying agaric. If I lose it against... A I can only do it from a poison fight against a reaper. And this is it. We would have lost anyway. Because they have the poison gubrid. This is literally the, the fight I would have lost. <laughs> um, we cannot win this whatsoever. Because they are going to super do proud poison us. And somewhere here, we're going to die from the poison. Nice. That was very expected. It's literally what I predicted would happen. Uh, we high rolled into duck of cards. That's useless. Roll them. And we high rolled into flying agar. Also useless. Stamina pack. I would say, yeah, no. This is better. I'm gonna go with a potion belt. Although we're not gonna go potions, but it's a 5 for 4 better than a 5 for 3 Roll them still. And we found the gloves of haste into the Levant Prism. And I would also like to get our blueberry because by gaining mana, I will be able to use the Dark Saber. Dark Saber needs us to generate mana. And right now we have no mana re generation. Not regeneration, generation. Let's go with this. Uh, I would say one blind is worse than that. And also we got lifesteal here, 10% lifesteal. It's definitely better than sometimes do damage. Uh, if anything, I would like to actually sell stuff. I want the attack speed. I want all of these three. These two need to be bought next. Let's go. They will be bought next because I will have money. Okay, this guy got the lightsaber. So they're most likely doing the same build as we do. Let's hope for the best here. The lightsaber says that it blinds you if you have regen, but they don't have regen, and I also don't have regen. So the lightsaber in itself, how it works, is irrelevant to us. Nice, we got my 10 mana, so now I'm gonna start getting luck. No, one more hit! Yes! Nice. And here we should get a life, because now we have subclasses. Boom. The subclass of choice is going to be Cursed Dagger, because we want to debuff the opponents like crazy. Let's go with this. This specifically says that on attack it uh, inflicts two random debuffs and then also items connected to this are getting plus 1% crit chance and hit chance per debuff. You go here, you go here, you go here. Now this definitely goes here. And I would like to like this. I'm gonna give attack speed to the Chris Dagger. I would like to buy the Blood Amulet next as actually lifesteal is extremely important. Sell the stone. Sell this. Sell the Agaric, get the attack speed, and these two will get combined this very round. So I would say, let's do a little bit of reorganization. Let's actually throw a couple of blinds out. Nice, we got our first Vampire Glove, and uh, let's also go here, I would say. I think I'm okay with four less blinds. It's it's a bit bad for us as of this moment, but we, we will get inventory space at some point. Wait, does this Glove of Face give us garlic, or does it give us flying air? I would say let's go with a poison play. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's gonna be better. Now, it's very important to get the lightsaber. If I don't get the lightsaber, we're gonna really fall behind. And also, I want to get, obviously, the holy armor, because, once again, we're gonna fall behind. 
Uh, we are blinding them as much as as long as I'm blinding them like crazy. We should be winning. The most important part is to get 20 blind. If they have 20 blind, they cannot hit us. 20 blind is 100% accuracy loss, therefore 100% not hit ability. Nice, we won here. Nice. Boom. I could go for the demonic flask play, but I don't really care about that, honestly. What does this combine with? Oh, with um, corrupted crystal. Yeah, we're not gonna go with that. I found my first healing herb. That's nice. Uh, let's also get armor. Why not? Roll them. Okay, uh, banana, not really, roll him. Uh, another mana. I would say energy, roll him. Uh, we found the lightsaber, we found what I want. So I'm just gonna keep it here and we're gonna buy it next turn. Is that a good idea? Or just transition over to it? I would say just transition over to it. Four coins for this, boom. And I would say sell this, and we got it. So just like that, we are on our lightsaber build. Uh, just push everything one up. Excuse me, flip this, push everything one up, you go down here, and you now get combined with the lightsaber. I would say we go with Flying and Garrick getting all the attack speed, and let's put all the blindness in, plus the vampirism. So, uh, this thing says, uh, use three of your regen, which I don't really have, inflict seven blind for five seconds, so that's not gonna happen. Deals one more damage for each blind on the opponent, that's also relevant, all of this is relevant, we only care about actually leveling that thing up. And uh, let us go. I don't care about the glowing crown. I just care about getting more corrupted crystals and getting like two more. And I I would like to also get the holy armors, which we don't have right now. I just got poisoned, but that's okay. They have a shield of valor and a shield spikes, so they should be countering us completely. And they also have the poison goober. This is a poison build. We're gonna get destroyed here. Uh, this is gonna get easily get countered later game. By the way, this is a race. This is going well. We're healing a lot. We actually won. Wow, we actually won. Unbelievable. I thought we we're gonna lose. We're gonna lose with the by a long shot. 35 poison here. But we actually beat him. Why? Because the lightsaber is doing a lot. And now that I got the dark saber, it's doing even more. So we got the dark saber, which says the following Dark saber says deals 0.5 damage for each debuff on the opponent. So that's better because now uh, previously I was gaining plus one damage for each blind. Now it's 0.5 for each debuff, everything. And then on attack, use one mana to inflict one blind. Um, so we're gonna be applying blind very fast is the idea here. If not very fast, at least a lot of it. Let's go with rolling high rolls. Let's definitely get the attack speed here. I'm gonna roll. Please give him corrupted crystals. Definitely buying this. Definitely buying that. Corrupted crystals. Boom. Pond one. Very, very, very lucky. And we're gonna go blind, 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 but not like that. Uh, attack speed. I would like to apply attack speed to this, but I also definitely want the, the starry things to be hitting those, so I can't really put that anywhere else. Unless it's up like that. And these two all go up. I think that's what we're gonna do. So reorganize time. Okay, and here we are back. Uh, now, normally I would actually, you know, lock the game and just buy this instantly. But there is no reason to sell stuff and buy it. But there is no reason to because I don't have anything that combines with it right now. Specifically the holy armor, that is. So there is no reason for us to get this. I'm, I'm gonna apply the attack speed on the banana, I would say. And we want to get Flying Agarix, uh, Torquillas. I want to get Jinx Torquillas. That's very important. Uh, I think I'm in max the poison zone. Let's go. This is also still connected to everything we needed to. So now we are applying blind with every single attack we do. So we have them at 6, 7, 8. The higher blind they are, the less they're gonna hit us. And once again, the moment they hit 20 blind, they are literally unable to hit us. We got them. They got, they're got they destroyed. They are destroyed. <laughs> the spikes are theoretically an issue for us, but they're not because I have Bam Prism. We found Mana Orb. That's nice. Let's get the Corrupted Crystal. Let's also get a blind. And we found the Remove Opponent Buffs. Mm, might as well put it here. So, what do I want to do? Do I want the mana orb? I wouldn't say I want the mana orb. This does not really fit the build. It's irrelevant. Mana is relevant to us. I only need mana for this thing to blind the opponents. I think I'm generating enough mana with the two blueberries for that to happen. Is that true though? <laughs> I don't think it's really true. I would say this goes here. It's three items. I think it's good enough. Uh, let's continue rolling. Nice, nice. Perfect. This is actually a perfect shop. Uh, what is the chance for legendaries at this point? Mm, you know what? I don't think there is any reason for us to have the customer card. Let's buy this. And uh, let's continue having room inside. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. Maybe this down here is better. And then I flip the other two. Yeah, this goes here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So that goes there. And the, these two flip. And now this is hitting four items that activate. So that's a lot better, obviously. Uh, still having the good attack spin thing here, and then the cursed dagger, obviously, with the applying of blinds. Let's go. Let's go. I do enjoy what we have. We don't have energy issues mainly. 
We're good. Now I will generate enough mana for us to always apply blind when we hit. That's the important part. As long as I'm playing blind with every attack. Yeah, they have 11, 12. They have a lot of luck. It's a race. It's a race. And we won the race. Nice. 46 hit there at the end. Nice. And we got our mana. We got the Torquilla. Torquilla just joins. And uh, armor for sure. Roll him. And now Corrupted Crystal. And now Corrupted Crystal. We're about to win and go into Endless right away. Well, then I'm going to force Holy Armors in a moment. Uh, this should go here, honestly. Forget the banana. This Torquilla is like the perfect place to be at. It's hitting everything extremely fast. Maybe one below would be even better. Nah, I think it's good here. It's, it's hitting most of the things that matter. Uh, it's not hitting some things that maybe would have been better, but I don't think it really matters that much. Let's go. Drop the crystal next. Wait, I also want the... Uh, no, I don't want the blonde amulet. Although the crazy attacks with these things provide would be better, but... I want to decrop the crystal and then just hold the armors. So I can get the build in order. Okay, let's go. They start with 6 blind. 8, 9, 10. They're already at 10 blind, so they are almost unable to hit us. 40%, 35% accuracy. 35% accuracy. 31% accuracy. They're trying to get it back, but nah. 60 damage, they're deleted. Into endless mode. 6 fights left. Come on, give me holy armor. Nope, get the crop the crystal holy armor. Uh, I'm not gonna get anything other than maybe these single spotters, but I need to get my holy armor up. I don't need mana, this is not a mana build. Roll them, roll them, roll them. And now the corrupted crystals here. I don't need other corrupted crystals. Uh, I guess I sell this. Garlic is a bit irrelevant. I don't need more corrupted crystals. I need to get the things I want. And this definitely gets bought. Where does it fit, though? I guess it fits over here because this liner fits definitely in somewhere else. You can also join. Let's go. And now we just hope, man. And now we just hope. Theoretically, we're beating this. Actually, we're definitely beating this. There is no theoretical here. Uh, because we have a lot more application of debuffs than them. And they are just a defensive build. So uh, they are already gone. They just got their block going. I'm losing the poison fight. We're winning the blindness fight. So they no longer can hit us. Right? Yeah. Dude, 70% chance to hit. No. Straight up, no. They can't do anything. Yes, their poison was... Their spikes and their poison was more than my poison, but the dark saber on its own is destructing incarnate. Let's buy this. I would say it goes... Here is a good spot for it, honestly. Excuse me. Bring everything back like it was. Boom and boom. Nice. I don't want inventory. I will not go for blindness either. I want to buy nothing other than this. Perfect. Perfect. I got what I wanted. So, now I want to definitely sell stuff. I would say sell two of these. The poison stone, who cares? Although I'm a poison build, so theoretically I care. Remove debuff build. Uh, okay, regen is useless for us. And one blind is also a bit irrelevant. And you too. Let's buy this. And I now have the corrupted armor. Let's definitely put the corrupted crystal on it. Both of them actually. Corrupted crystals say that. Every 7 debuffs inflicted gain 6 shielding, that's nice. Jinx Gorilla is guaranteed yes, and another Gloves of Face is also guaranteed yes. And I think we're ready to uh, destroy everything now, because the build is ready, literally. The, the build is literally ready. I got another Mana Stone for 3. Do I want that? No, I want to find another Holy Armor, honestly, so let's actually not buy random stuff. Jinx Torquilla is part of the build. So let's go. This is a Spikes build, we should be destroying this. Uh, spikes should not really be an issue for us. And they have already 16 blind, 18 blind. They are unable to hit us. Literally unable to hit us. We're only losing life from the spikes. That's it. They cannot hit us back. So we're just waiting for them to die. <laughs> I am healing anyway. Yeah, 60 damage, 74 damage. <laughs> insane, insane. Their weapon had 0% accuracy. It might have done 0 damage. How much damage did you do with the Bloodthorn? The Bloodthorn did 10 damage. <laughs> The Spikes did 300, the Bloodthorn did 10. Uh, good old Bloodthorn, nice. And boom, we got the new item, the Corrupted Armor. 10% chance for each dark item to protect debuffs on your opponent from being cleansed. So that does not allow the opponent to cleanse our debuffs. That's not something I care about, though. Start of battle in 70 armor, also not something I care about. But the Uno Reverse ability, every three, clean, every three seconds, cleanse two debuffs and inflict them on your opponent. So if the opponent is a ranger... 
then we just hope to blind them to death and they cannot do anything to us. But if it's a Reaper, we're gonna reflect poison, we're gonna reflect blindness, and that is what I wanna see. Now, we do have poison items, by the way, but once again, it's irrelevant to me. The aspect of opponents do not remove their debuffs, that's irrelevant to me. I only care about this getting a bunch of attack speed. So I now want to reorganize to make the Jinx Torquilla hit the Corrupted Armor, mostly. Right? Uh, alongside the fact that it's sitting everything else. I don't know how I'm gonna achieve that. Uh, I'm gonna definitely buy this glove, by the way, and also this Torquilla. So, uh... Reorganize time. Okay, reorganize time done. I'm gonna sell the shovel. I don't care about the shovel anymore. Boom, roll them. And now we want to just get a bit of inventory space and even more attack speed related items. Uh, I could buy this, honestly. It really fits easily. Like, super easily, I would say. Um, super easily, I would say. Famous last words, man. No, it fits here in the middle. Right here in the middle. We're gonna buy this for room. So, the idea is the following. Because the build is now ready. Right? First of all, we generate a bunch of mana. That's irrelevant. Uh, Curse Dagger, whenever it hits, applies to debuffs. And also, we get more crit chance. Crit chance on what? And um, uh, Crit chance and accuracy on the Dark Saber. Dark Saber, every time it hit, attacks. It gains... Uh, every time it attacks... It use one mana and reflect one blind. Now we do have this connected with a mana orb, so 50% of the time it's gonna get the mana back. And in the meantime, we also have two blueberries that guarantee mana gain. Uh, the Jinxter Killers are hitting all of those. We have three gloves giving attacks to all of them. And the main attraction of the day is a Corrupted Armor. By the way, all of these are inside of the Poison Zone. So the Corrupted Armor and the Dark Saber are going to be applying Poison with the attack. So Corrupted Armor says the following. The specific aspect I care about. Every three seconds, which is not going to be every three seconds. It's going to be like every one second or every 0.8 or something. Because of the Killers and all the crazy attacks we would give this thing. Um, cleanse to debuffs and apply to the opponent. So we really, really, really hope we're going to fight against ranger reapers reapers not rangers reapers so that we apply all the buffs on the opponents and i don't want the corrupted crystal outside i want it inside so that every time i apply seven debuffs i also gain sh six shielding to protect myself i also have two bananas to regen life and also we have life steal 10 percent that is on the dark saber plus a six a five flat amount of vaporism for healing let's see how this is gonna go theoretically we should be unlosable i hear nope it's a reaper a ranger which is sad I want to fight the Reaper. These three blinds are gonna be applied on the opponent, by the way. Look at this. Are you ready for it? Boom, these two, boom, they got to seven. This one blind is gonna be get applied to. Boom, they're at 11 now. What's their hit chance? 40% hit chance. We're also taking... Oh, I didn't mention the Jinxter Killers are here to remove luck. That's the purpose. So the opponent cannot hit us. And now this has 10%, 15% chance to hit. They have a crown trying to remove blindness. It's not gonna be enough, man. It's over. We don't have any debuffs whatsoever. And you're gone. And you're gone. Easy enough. And we found another Vampirism. That's very lucky because now this can go here so we get even more attack speed. And let's also fit this like that. So we get more inventory space. I don't need invulnerability. I don't care about that. Let's roll them. And what I would like to get is another Corrupted Armor, honestly. That is what I would like to get. We found inventory space. We definitely buy this and put it over there in the corner. And banana for three. I wouldn't say so. Let's just go with what we have. And let's continue. Come on, be a Reaper. No, another Ranger again. It's a bit sad, but it's okay. They do not apply any debuffs to us whatsoever. This is a crazy mad lad Excalibur build. So let's see who's gonna win this one. If I blind them enough, they're not gonna survive. They do have carrots connected to the Excalibur. So theoretically, they should be able to cleanse stuff. Let's see how this guy go. Let's see how this guy go. Uh, they are also getting a bunch of buffs. I'm keeping their luck uh, at the low. So we should be protected from anything dangerous. And they have 16 blind. They should be literally unable to do anything now. Yeah, this has a um, 5% accuracy. They cannot hit us. Look at this. We're full life and they, they literally are unable to do anything to us because they're blinded like crazy. All the ranger fights are gonna be like that. They get blinded like crazy and my Jinxter killers make sure that luck is not going high enough to actually counteract the blindness because luck gives you a vision, that is. Okay, got another glove of that. Let's go here, roll them, and found another lightsaber, which could become another dark saber, but that is not really relevant to us whatsoever. Yeah, I don't need that. I could go for the mana. I could have, could have, should have gone for the mana one turn earlier, to be honest. I'm thinking to put the mana right here, right here, so we get a lot of mana regen. But do I need mana regen? I don't think I need mana regen. Like, I'm not gonna get the mana buff. That's not really needed. I need to force myself getting stuff that I don't really care about. Let's roll. Uh, I don't care about these roll. I guess inventory space might as well. I don't know. I could also go with the stamina potion, but I don't think so. Roll them. 
And a Vamp Prism, that's actually good. Let's go here, flip these, and we get even more attack speed. And at this point, the only thing left is a, a Jinx Torkilla. I'm not going to be able to use this Corruptive Crystal to get another one, because in two turns the game ends, and I didn't find the thing I needed. Let's buy a Blind, so we start with the opponent a bit more blinded. This can go a bit more in, so they get the buff from both Torkillas, at least from one of them. Uh, this is a 35 chance to apply poison. Let's actually put that on Dark Shaper as that attacks faster. Maybe a banana is needed. We definitely have energy issue. Uh, but it doesn't matter. Let's go. We're attacking too fast for our own man. Oh, look at this. This guy is actually stealing buffs. Oh, this is an awesome fight we're gonna have here. We are gonna be applying blinds on these guys, but they have a Tim on a weapon that has a 0.72% attack speed. So he should have crazy mad lad attack speed, but this thing has 15% chance to hit. 10% chance to hit, 10% chance to hit, and if I hit you two more times, 5% chance to hit, and they can no longer do anything. They have 24 vampirism, but they are literally unable to do anything with it. Bye bye, 68 and crit, gone. Gone. So you had a Bloodthorn with 33 to 37 damage, you had all of these, you had all of these, and what did the Bloodthorn do? 70 damage. Why? Because we're the blindness god. Please give me a Reaper for my final fight. Please. Please, game. Give me a Reaper for my final fight. Prevent hits being crits. Mm, might as well buy this. A cap of discomfort. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Um, and a stone. I have three coins. I'm gonna find something here for the three coins. I found out or kill at the end. Four coins. I'm buying the Torquilla for sure. I have six coins right now. Uh, let's throw away the blindness. Uh, you know what? I can throw away... I can throw away this potion belt. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Boom. You stay. Potion belt, you go. And here we go. Easy enough. And I would say this goes here. Or here to be on... Uh, I would say here. I wanted to be hitting the bananas. And I also wanted to be hitting the downside. Uh, yeah, I would say here. This is a, as good spot as any. And this banana should go maybe here. Nah, that made this banana worse. One left. Nice, I upgraded the banana again. Okay, this is decent. This is hitting, once again, everything we have. Plus also the banana here at the bottom. Uh, I think we're ready to go. Please give me a Reaper. Please, please, please give me a Reaper. Although Reapers do not exist at the end. Yes, yes. It's a it's a Reaper that actually applies a bunch of corruption. It's, it's a fatigue build, but it's okay. It's okay. They are applying poison to us, so we will be taking that poison and applying it back to them. That is the main takeaway here, what we want to be doing. This is firing every 1.62 right now. Yeah, look at this. Oh no, we're blinded. Boom. Nope, you're blinded. I'm blinded, you're blinded. They're also blinding us, it seems. Two blind, three blind. No, retaliate it. I love it. I love it. It's happening. It's slowly happening. We should not be losing this fight. 1.28 on the poison. Uh, 1.24 on the how often we're applying the opponent. These guys have double shield of Valor. That's why we have energy issues. But this thing does not care about energy issues. Ah, uh, zero damage. How did I do zero? I don't know how I did zero there. Doesn't matter. We are losing. If Imagine not having the Uno reverse, man. How much is this guy applying on us? He has 3D blind. 3D blind. They got another of that. And now we're going into fatigue. We are at 11. We should lose the fatigue fight. We are winning the poison fight and whatnot. Every time we hit. I need to crit with this thing. Why does this not have stamina? Crit, come on. 80 damage. Oh, 94! Nice, and we won at the end. Very nice. We almost lost from fatigue. This had 43 to 48 damage at the end because of the effect of 0.5 damage based on how many debuffs. Man, we had 20 poison and 10 blindness. Good thing we had the dark, uh, the cursed dagger giving us uh, accuracy and crit chance, right? 71% crit chance here at the end. And also 10 lifesteal. I'm pretty sure the lifesteal also kept us in the game. Let's, uh, let's not be random and just uh, be uh, sure about it. Vampirism 124 and Chipped Ruby 41. Uh, no, the Chipped Ruby is not what kept us in the game. I guess those two together kept us in the game because we have 148 life. So if I didn't have Vampirism and I also didn't have Chipped Ruby, we would have guaranteed died. Uh, so that was nice. We have uh, we had energy issues. Did we have overheal? No, did oh, block. Ooh, the Corrupted Crystal 90 block also kept us in the game. Plus the Corrupted Armor itself having a 70 block kept us in the game. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this. It really was nice. I can't really see how many debuffs got transferred through the use of the armor. But what we can see is the fact that the armor, at the end of the day, uh, had 0 
reverse debuff cleansing thing. Also have regen. Did they have so much healing? What actually kept them in the game? They had a lot of healing. We actually had more. They overhealed a bit in the beginning, and then they also had a lot of block. I see. Damage dealt. Yeah, the fatigue. The fatigue build. 190 damage there. Where was the fatigue tick at? Did we have time to survive? Fatigue was at 19. So, three more ticks. Like, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, five, or now five, now about seven more ticks would have killed us. Six to seven more ticks. Uh, I, I know if mathematically 20 plus 21 plus 20, whatever is six. I, I like, no, seven. Actually, at seven flat we die. But we might even die at eight because we had healing, right? Like, it's not like we would have gotten seven or eight ticks of fatigue back to back, everything, instant death. No, we did have healing in this. But uh, yeah, uh, of course, their damage side was non-existent. In general, the, the Mana Thirst has 200% accuracy, 200%, and we reduced it to 15, right? That's how much blindness we had on them. This was down to 15, 0, 50. This Magic Torch also has 200% accuracy, and it got reduced to 15. And they even had two Glowing Crowns, which is a bit unbelievable. Think about this. Think about the fact. This guy had uh, Cleanse 1 Blindness... Two times every three seconds, right? And then they also had cleanse to poison almost every three seconds. So they were removing four debuffs every two seconds. No, no, no. Yeah, four debuffs every two seconds. Every two seconds, uh, three seconds. Every three seconds, I was losing uh, two damage from the Darksaber, right? So, um, yeah, this this was a very, very back and forth, almost countered, did not get countered, and actually we countered them type of build. So that was fun. Awesome build on their end, uh, super duper defensive with the shields and the regen uh, and the healing and the lifesteal, uh, not the lifesteal, the, the damage immunity and the lifesteal from the mana thirst. Very, very, very defensive build over there, plus obviously fatigue because that's how the fatigue plays. And then over our our, our side, we had the pretty much counter everything build because this counters everything. Uh, this The only thing this does not counter, I would say, is maybe a super duper heavy spikes shielding build. Like, if this guy had a lot of spikes, we would have died, most likely, because last time we fought with spikes, we had, like, retaliation damage 300 or something crazy, or 250. So if this guy had spikes, we would have lost. Like, if they had 10 spikes, we would have guaranteed lost. That would have done too much damage to us, especially with the Chris Dagger and the Dark Saber together. We would have died on the spikes fight. But they did not go spikes. So, yeah, if they were the Shield of Valor and spikes, we would have lost, but they actually were Holy Armor, so we won. And as I said, this beats Rangers because you blind them like crazy, and it beats Reapers because you cannot lose from the debuffs that the Reapers apply. The only Possible loss is against spike build and fatigue, maybe, but we actually beat the fatigue build, so that's also no. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment down below, helps out the video, helps out the channel in general if you want to see more of this, right? So, yeah, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.